Yo guys, how's it going? Oh, exotic here, and today's video is going to be a nothing to something video. Um, if you don't know what these are, they're based on Rocket League, where you start on an item such as a key, or it could be something worse like a crate or an exotic wheel, and then you work your way up to getting something that is worth much more keys, something like a mystery decal or something. But this video, we're going to be starting on a key and working our way up with trades, making profit, all the way up to Hellfire, which is the new mystery goal explosion. It sells for around 20 keys right now, so we're going to be working from one key all the way to 20 keys or an item that's worth 20 keys. Um, so it's just going to be a journey of all the trades I've done um, to make profit, and you'll see like a, basically a time lapse of all my profits. Uh, but this will be split into episodes as um, it's not that easy to make profit. <laughs> I mean, it does take a while, so it, I'm not sure how many episodes it will split into, but it will carry on into three or four episodes, and then we can carry on from there. But yeah, guys, leave a like down below if you'd like to see this again in the future, and comment down below your PSN so we can trade sometime. But this is the first trade, guys. Um, I believe I sell my key for two frictions and a near thermal. He says, "What ad do you want?" Because I wanted the two frictions, and then um, he added the fr um, near thermal. So that's a nice little trade there. As the two frictions, I could probably pick up for another key. Um, so I basically get a near thermal as my profit. I mean, it's not too bad. Could have probably got a better trade for this key, but it was there, so I just took it. And there we go, two frictions and the near thermal. Yo, so we are here with the second trade. Um, in this one, I get rid of the two frictions and I actually sell it for a key, like I said in the last trade. So that was a nice trade there. Didn't take me too long to find. That was nice and quick and easy. So I basically gained the near thermal from the last trade. So we are up to a key and a near thermal. The near thermal pro will be harder to sell. But if I sell it together, then it shouldn't be too bad. Right, on the next one here, I buy an Animus GP for a near thermal and a key. The guy was telling me to add, he was begging that I added an item, but I literally, this is all I had. So the guy, I don't think the guy understood, like, this is all I had. So I couldn't add. It took a while. This has skipped forward a lot as this guy was honestly, I had to graft him for about three minutes of just saying that I've got not got anything so he finally presses accept and we get an animus gp for a near thermal and a key which isn't too bad because at the time the animus was two to three but it wasn't selling for two keys it was more one key and an ad but i was hoping i could get a better ad than um, near thermal and here guys i found a buy for the animus gp i've i did originally put it up for two keys but i wasn't finding anyone so i dropped it down for a key and an offer and this guy put in a key and I believe he started with one overdrive crate but I told him to add I think I said like a small add or something and he did put in another overdrive crate which wasn't too bad um, it's it works out uh, just a bit more than the um, near thermal and the overdrive crates are much easier to sell as they're the new crate so I thought I'd find a buyer much easier um, compared to the near thermal which is just not it's not popular right now due to magic missile but yeah guys that wasn't a bad trade uh, this trade right here uh, I was getting rid of the key again he that was his original offer the two uh, light speed and uh, the blazer which was alright but I thought I could probably get another item out of this guy just to basically get as much profit as possible because the trinity wasn't good for that much so he added a road hog and i thought that was worthy enough because i could probably sell the two very rare boosts for a key once again so i'm probably making profit of the road hog and the trinity which is probably around 0 0.75 of a key uh, so three quarters of a key probably um yeah so that wasn't a bad trade and this is what our inventory is looking like so far from one key so it's not going too bad and for this trade right here, I sell the two very rare boosts, which I said I could sell, but I don't get it for a key. I actually get it for a Crimson Wildcat Ears and a Robbie Duck. I mean, it was pointless, but the Wildcat Ears 
usually sell for two keys, uh, but it is quite hard to find a buyer. But I thought if I grind a grind, I'll eventually find someone that will buy them. I could take a key for them as well, uh, but that wasn't a bad trade right there because Wildcat is are worth more than those two, so it was a profit. Um, in this trade, we found a buyer for the Crimson Wildcat is he. For his original trade, he put in um, Forest Green Spiralis, but I thought they'd be hard to sell. So he eventually put in a key and these uncommon wheels. I don't know what I don't want to pronounce them because I'm just going to embarrass myself. But um, I did some research, and those wheels can probably sell for around a key or maybe half a key if you find the right person. But that wasn't a bad trade there. I mean, I could have waited and got two keys, but it was just taking way too long to sell them. So I thought I'd just do that because it'd be easier, and it was just there. So. Um, it wasn't too bad of a trade and this is what our inventory is looking like so far so we've basically gained two overdrive crates, uh, Roadhog, the Trinity, the Rubber Duck and those uncommon wheels from the key we started on. Right guys this trade right here is probably the best trade so far I mean I managed to sell a key for all of these items and it does in fact add a CC1 crate as well so it's just a bit of extra profit so I sell a key for an overdrive crate, hex phase, fidget spinner wheels, um, a player's choice crate and the blazer which was certified and the CC1 crate. So the fidget spinner wheels and the blazer I could probably get for a key so that was good and the rest was just nice, nice little profit. So that was a very good trade there. Um, I had to graft a while for that because original, his original offer was just like three of those items but I managed to get all those so that was a great trade right there. And yeah, nice little profit that I could probably sell them for more than a key. Next trade here, we are buying another Animus. Uh, I know the last one was hard to sell, but I didn't have to pay a key and an ad for this one. I literally just gave him items. I gave him a blazer, a fidget spinner wheel and hex fees, which all together is probably quite hard to sell for a key. So I thought this was quite a good trade as I could sell the Animus for a key and an ad. Um, it wasn't selling for two keys, like I said don't know why the prices just went down but the animus is easy to sell as it's just more popular in general so this was a good trade okay here guys we were going to sell the animus but his offer was um painted slk wheels they were saffron and two crates so i didn't think that was worth it because uh, he had another offer as well which was my three overdrive crates for slk wheels which was pretty damn good because slk saffron were two to three and two overdrive no three overdrive crates couldn't even sell for a key because uh, four overdrive crates made a key so that was a nice little profit there slks are hard to sell though so that was a risky trade but i thought if i graft uh, then i will eventually find uh, someone to buy them okay guys so this next trade here i managed to sell the animus um i sold it for a key and then these crates as an ad so it wasn't too bad but the animus was getting harder and harder to sell as people uh, it's just getting just getting um less than, like less people are wanting it because more people have got it now so the hype's over for it really but that was a good trade i'll take it i got a key for that so yeah this next trade was honestly insane this is probably equal to the other trade that we said was the best i think now actually this one's much better i mean we buy a torah which is worth 2.5 keys and we get it for a key and i believe we just add like a load of crates so that literally comes up to about not even two keys but yeah, guys, that was a great trade right there. Honestly, Torah is so much easier to sell than all those. So that was an that was honestly the best trade. That kicked things off from here. Because as you can see in the next trade, uh, we found a buyer for Torah really quickly, easily. And he actually paid three keys, guys. Three keys for this Torah. So trades were going amazing today. Uh, so that honestly is just bunked us up to an inventory worth around five keys because the SLKs we still have so that was a great trade but yeah guys that is going to wrap up today's video so this is what our inventory looks like so we started on a key and we now have three keys the SLKs and the uh, whatever I'm just not going to pronounce them but the uncommon forest green wheels and the duck so all together we've made a fair bit of profit for first episode um, but we'll be back with the next episode so please leave a like down below if you'd like to see other videos like this because it was quite fun to make and uh, it's cool seeing like the progress and um, where I've started but anyway guys hope you enjoyed and peace